Hello everyone, uh, good to be talking to you. I'm currently in Dubai right now. I'm going to be heading in a few hours to present at a conference, uh, the Just Education Summit. It is currently 7.55 a.m. here. Um, and what I wanted to do is actually take this opportunity, since I'm abroad, to model some of the ways in which you can connect with your students. Should we need to uh, share videos and connect with our families uh, through distance and virtual learning. So as I'm going through, I'm going to be talking to you in part as if you're my students, but also you know, sharing some explicit strategies and giving you some tips uh, from the perspective of, you know, from, t from educator to educator. The first thing you might notice is the video quality. So what I've done is I've actually just, I'm using my phone, I've turned the screen around um, and I've put it on a small tripod just because the quality tends to be better than if I was using my webcam. Um, for the exercise today, I'm going to be reading a poem and I'm going to be asking you to practice some of your visualization skills when you're listening. Uh, I'm also going to ask you to have some materials with you. So if you can, take a moment right now and grab some uh, crayons or some colored pencils or some markers uh, with a variety of different colors um, and a piece of paper obviously to write on. I'm going to give you a second now and feel free to pause this video if you need some time to gather those materials. If you're watching now, it means you have everything you need. So again, this is a strategy that you can use when you're talking to your kids is telling them when you want them to pause or giving the opportunity to rewatch the video, which I'll do later. I'm going to be reading this poem for you now. Uh, and as I'm reading the poem, I want you to just be drawing the character that I'm describing. So try to visualize in your mind what this character looks like. There lived a green giant whose name was Sam. His hair was the color of strawberry jam. He had one brown and one blue eye and a beard the color of pumpkin pie. His coat and pants were oh so bright like a peppermint stick all red and white. His socks were as yellow as lemon pop. His shoes were as brown as a chocolate drop. His hat was the color of gingerbread with a tall, tall feather of raspberry red. Now that I finished reading the poem, feel free to go back and rewatch this video as many times as you need to make sure that your drawing of Sam is as accurate as you can make it. At this point, I would encourage my students to take their drawing and either bring it with them to our next virtual hangout where they could show their peers the drawing that they've made. Or perhaps I would ask them to add an image of it onto Seesaw so that I could give them feedback and I could appreciate the work that they've done. On that note, Alex Johnson here signing off. Uh, I will be seeing all of you very soon once I get back to Mumbai.